What's up everybody? I'll give you one guess as to what day it is when I started recording this video. Thought it was pretty fitting. <laughs> this coronavirus, huh? This is really making a lot of changes in a lot of people's lives, a lot of mandated changes. I personally am uh, working from home right now. I work in the news industry um, and I've been ordered by my boss uh, company mandate to actually work from home so I mean I'm not complaining about that I <laughs> I'm a lot more productive when I'm at the office but this is okay I can get used to this um, elections have been shut down here in Ohio uh, this is March 17th this is the day that people were supposed to go out and vote in the Democratic primary and a lot of other state issues local issues things like that but um, what happened here was that the uh, governor called for a shutdown of the elections um, and I'm gonna get a little bit out of my realm here as far as like the legal terminologies but there was a judge that needed to sign off on that and basically okay it. The judge as I understand didn't want to take the responsibility for that. He didn't want it to be on his hands. He wanted it to pass to other judges who would then vote on the issue but our uh, chief medical, top medical officer in the state basically I guess has the power to overrule the judge on that and declare a medical emergency for the state which I'm with it. I, I you know, shut it down. I, I, I think that if I get coronavirus I'll be okay. I think I'll survive but I'd rather not take the chance but f for me it's more of a, a um, I'd much rather my mother doesn't get the coronavirus. She's 82 years old. She's a former smoker. She has, she's heavier. Um, it, it's, it, I think it's just a, for her, it would be a pretty good chance there would be a death sentence for her. So if, if people have to stay in and large gatherings are shut down to keep uh, the elderly protected, then I'm all for that. But what I wanted to put this t video together today for was, uh, Okay, I'm, I'm kind of rambling at this point, but what I wanted to talk about in this video today was that uh, two days ago, I was in town picking up some supplies for this, uh, waiting out this mess, and um, as I was driving back, it's a Sunday, and I saw on one of the church reader boards that uh, services were canceled due to coronavirus, and I thought, well, you know, if I were in that situation, if I were a uh, preacher or priest or I don't know if those terms are interchangeable or not. I'm not a religious guy, but I got to thinking if I were in that scenario, I would actually just live stream the services. I, especially in a time like this, I think religion is important to a lot of people. The sense of community, the sense of somebody saying, hey, everything's going to be okay. Uh, this is the kind of thing that people need right now. So um, I got to thinking that's what I would do. I would just live stream it. Uh, but I understand that there's also that fact that maybe a lot of people don't understand exactly how to live stream it. And that's what I want to talk about today. And it's really, really easy to do. I actually do a lot of live streaming for the place that I work because we are a news station. Sometimes when there's a really important breaking event to get out, we've got to stream that to, we've got a pretty big Facebook audience and we've got to get that word out. Facebook is actually the fastest way to get that word out to our audience in particular. So we have uh, OBS set up to do that and I'm going to cover that in my next video, how to set up an OBS stream and, and do a really professional looking stream. But in this one today, I'm just going to do a quick and dirty and show you exactly what you can do to get your business page streaming up and online through phone, through a tablet, through an iPad, something like that. And it's really, there's nothing to it. And as you've probably noticed, as I've recorded right now, my audio doesn't sound very good right now. I think the video is acceptable. Um, this is a, the uh, um, selfie camera on my phone that I'm recording with. Now, if I were to use the front-facing camera, everything would look a lot better. And I want to see if I can actually flip that around now. No, I can't. I would have to stop the recording and uh, flip it around. 
So this is what the front-facing camera looks like on this phone, and I'm hoping that this is a pretty good-looking shot. Um, this is why I generally don't use my phone to record video, especially in a vlog, because I can't actually monitor what is going on. And right away, one of the things people probably noticed was that the audio is not the best sound right now. Um, and we can actually remedy this pretty cheaply. I have this right here. This is a just a cheap lavalier microphone that I bought off of eBay. I bought like three of these for... It was under four bucks, so a little over a dollar a piece. Um, now, a lot of people, when they get these things and plug them into the phone, what they find is that it doesn't doesn't do anything. And the reason for that is is because this. I hope you can see this. This connector right here is not designed for a phone. It's designed to be plugged into a mic port on a computer. If you look at uh, most computers, they have a uh, speaker port and a microphone port. This would go into the mic port, but if you look at your phone, well, a lot of phones don't even have any kind of audio jack anymore. It's all done through, like, Bluetooth now. But if you look at, you know, a phone that's a couple years old, you'll see that they don't have a separate speaker and microphone port. That's why this doesn't work when you plug it in. You need this kind of adapter right here and you can see the the difference between the two um, try to get that in focus so this one has more bands this is called a TRRS adapter and if you look at this it's got a port for microphone and port for headphones all you gotta do is plug your microphone into the microphone port of this and then plug this into your phone, which I'm gonna do now. One of the downsides to this mic is that it's going to sound a little bit muffled, um, but it does isolate just your voice and does a pretty good job of that. It's not gonna pick up a lot of background noise going on throughout the rest of the room. Now, if you wanna stand a little bit further away from your phone or your, uh, or your tablet, this is a pretty good option right here. This is about a $26 mic. This is a Tackstar shotgun mic. But what this is going to do is it's going to it's going to point in your direction and pick up things that are roughly in the direction that it is pointing to, but it's going to pick up a lot more background noise. It's going to pick up a lot more room noise than just this mic here. Um, I plug this in and test it out, but it, I got a ton of mics. We'd be here all day if I did a sound test on every mic that I have. That's for another video. Okay, now here I've got my iPad set up and I wanna show you how to do the quick and dirty stream if you, uh, just on like Facebook. Um, so you're gonna open your Facebook app and this, is, this works the same on phone or tablet uh, and it pretty much works the same through iOS or Android. You're gonna launch your Facebook app you're going to go to the page that you manage, which would be your church or whatever. Um, here I'm going to select the Lodo Tech Show. That is my business page that is associated with this YouTube channel. Um, what you would actually do is you would select your church or whatever organization that you're representing. You go down here to Publish. You choose Live Video right here. And right now, the rear-facing camera is pointed at me. And uh, basically, this is the selfie cam. The video does not look very good on this. This is an older iPad. This is an iPad 4. The front-facing camera, ideally, is what you would want to use on this. Um, and, uh, you know, I've got this mounted on a tripod right here. Ironically, it's on a wobbly table. So uh, if you're going to do this and you have a your device mounted on a tabletop tripod use a sturdier table because it's going to pick up every little movement of my elbow and things like that so um, and also ideally with this iPad for example we would want to flip it around and use the front facing camera but as you can see I've just got that pointed at a wall right now so um, this gets the point across when you're ready and you've got your video checked out and it looks the way you want it to look, you just come over here and hit start live video, this big bar right here. 
I'm not going to do that right now because I don't want to do a live feed. But the moment you hit start live video here, your audience is going to start getting notified and you're going to see people start to flood in and watch that video. So it's not a bad idea to have somebody who acts as a presenter and somebody else who acts as a chat moderator when all of this goes on. Um, so, so as you can see, setting up a live stream is really, really easy to do through a phone or a tablet. In my next video, I'm going to go through some more complex ways of doing it to get a more professional looking feed out there, something that looks more like a news style broadcast, something with a lower third where you can have your presenter speaking, but you can also have you know, a lower third with some information. You can put video graphic overlays, you can put a ticker down there, you can put more informational text overlays into the video and you do that through OBS Studio. I'm going to show you how to set up a computer to handle that but for now that's it. Um, I'm going to end this video and uh, I hope everybody out there is taking care of themselves. Practice as much self-isolation as you can. Uh, I know it sucks to get through this right now but uh, this will pass and better days will come so that's it for now and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.